Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patterson here with a new video tutorial, and this is all about typography. Um, I want to tell you some news first about what's happening, and it's quite exciting. So, um, I applied to, uh, to have a network within YouTube for partnership uh, for creatives and designers and motion designers and all that, and I have been accepted and I'm allowed. So now I'm taking um, basically applications of people who want to be part of the YouTube partnership um, program and people who want to be um, within the network. The network that I've created is called Creative Network and um, I would like you guys to be on board. If you guys um, are doing speed arts, uh, doing tutorials or doing whatever, um, stuff that's creative on YouTube, whether it's videos, um, then just give me an email. My email is in the description, so go down and give me an email. Uh, give me a link to your channel and I'll have a look. So, yeah, so thanks so much, guys. That's awesome. But we better get on with the tutorial for now. Um, right, so we're going to try and make this sip coffee um, sort of wording here. Now, I'll just go into a new document like this. I'll just go into 1280 by 720. It'll be easy. And um, on the background, I'm just going to hold Alt and double click on the background part there. And just press. Shift BG to make it so it's a background. Then I'm just gonna, with my color picker here, choose this dark color, because I believe it to be a dark color that we're using. Hopefully it'll work anyway. We'll just use this color here. And then uh, we'll use this color, yeah, awesome. Now I'm just gonna add some text, pressing T, and then just go sip coffee. Now my text is all different to everyone else's because it's kerned in a weird way. And if your text is kerned like this, you want to go to the little A thing here, which is a character menu. And then take off the, uh, go here to the kerning section and then just make it to zero. Right, so I'm going to expand this up like so. And then I'm just going to press Command A and then center it within the A. Uh, selection here by going up to these selection points and then I'm just going to press T again and with this layer selected I'm just going to change this to condensed regular now this font that I'm using is called League Gothic and it's awesome it's proper like vintage sort of new font and it, I think it works very well right so to make that text effect here uh, with this, there's a few things that we could do. We could uh, we could have done this in Illustrator, but I'm in Photoshop today working on a poster for Young Adults Night. So I thought we'd just do it in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the actual. Uh, I believe I'm going to change it this color to white to make it easier. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command and J, which will down here create a copy. So you see here in the layer sip coffee. Then I'm going to move it down by pressing Command and right bracket uh, to make the layer move down, or you can just drag it. Then I'm just going to right click and then go to Rasterize Type. And then with my make sure I'm on the selection tool, making sure I'm there, I'll just press Shift and down a bit, and then bring it down and then to the right a bit, like so. And then I'm going to hold command and when I'm on this layer, as you see when I'm on command, um, you'll see this little box come up on the cursor. Um, I'm just going to press the thumbnail to that and that will select the layer above. Now what we need to do is on sip coffee here, we need to select, modify, um, expand and this will expand the selection. So it's expanding the selection. We'll expand it to, I don't know how many digits, we were two, like so. Then we're just going to go on the sip coffee place and backspace on here. And then we have this sort of text effect because what that's done is expanded the selection. So we have this sort of stroke. Now, I for one think I could do it better. So I'm just going to go select, expand, and then by another two, and then get rid of it. And then we have this text effect. And that's how you create the cool text effect. And then what you would do is you just group these both together these layers text and then you could add your color to them to make it even better on the rasterize type this one here you could bring down the opacity to give it a cool sort of effect 
is in two coloured effect. Um, and that just looks uh, pretty cool. So guys, I know this is a simple tutorial, but I thought it would be cool for you guys to uh, understand what it's about and stuff. Um, and you can do this with any text as well. Literally, if I just go up here, get the Century Gothic up. Let's try and get this font. Where is it? Century Gothic. Just go. Um, oh, cack. What am I doing? Oh, it's easy. So hello. Um, you can do it for any font whatsoever. So I'm just going to create a new layer for there, bring it down. I'm going to rasterize it. Then I'm just going to move it down a bit. Select, zoom in a bit actually. I'm going to select. Oops, sorry. Need to select this top layer. I'm going to select modify, expand by one pixel. Delete it. Command D to get rid of it. The selection, and there we go. We have that sort of cool text effect, which makes it look 3D. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, click that like rating and subscribe if you want to. Also. Follow me on Twitter and all that sort of jazz. Thank you so much for um, nearly a thousand subscribers. We're nearly there, guys. It's really cool. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm saying um a lot. I'm sorry about that, but whatever. We'll do a new video tutorial about um, Final Cut Pro soon. <coughs> Bless me, and thank you very much. As you can see, I'm not very well. So, have a good day. Thank you.